Hello and welcome to Short 10 Psalms, where you get a 10 message in 10 minutes or less. We're going to talk about three harbor lights of guidance today. Three harbor lights of guidance. I listened to this message about a few years back. I can't remember exactly how long it was, but it was at Victory World Church by Jeannie Mayo. And the way she broke this message, and I just want to give you a little bit of information so you can... Uh, just have the word of God in you within less than 10 minutes, man. Let's just just hang with me. Bear with me for a little bit there. All right, let's start off with the Proverbs, okay? Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all you do, and he will show you which path to take. Very interesting. He will show you which path to take. Sometimes we cannot depend on our own selves. Sometimes we cannot depend on our own thought process to give us guidance. That's why we have to be connected with the Heavenly Father. So let's go into these three harbor lights. And we're going to talk about the first one. But let me give you a little story just before. Jeannie started out telling you about this story. um, About this captain. There was this harbor. Ships used to wreck all the time, all the time, because under the hidden coastlines, there was reefs. And every time the ships would enter the harbor, they would crash violently. Deaths will occur. So this one clever captain, I guess God has to been connected. He had to been connected with the Heavenly Father because he gave him this knowledge and wisdom was to put to place three lights on shore. Place those three lights on shore. And as long as you line those three lights up, it can be rough as hell. It can be calm. As long as you line those three lights up, you are able to enter port without difficulty, without casualties. Easy peasy. All right, so let's get into the first one. The first harbor light we're going to talk about is the Word of God. And in Proverbs 119 uh, verses 130 says, the teaching of the word gives you light. The teaching of the word gives you light. So the simple can understand. And I'm simple. I want to understand. So the teaching of the word gives me light. So even I can understand, which I'm a simpleton sometimes. Where does the word of God come from? Where does the word of God come from? That's a pretty good question. But if you think about it, we all have an operating manual, which is called the Bible. It's a biblical biblical manual for human existence, for human evolution. And I know for me, it has guided me for many, many years. And even as a child, I remember growing up being taught the word and knowing what to do, especially the good book of Proverbs. All right. So the Bible is a good manual. The Bible plays a major role in understanding God's world. What about biblical communities? You have the Bible. You have biblical communities. Biblical communities are also called small groups. Whatever you want to call it is a small body of the church. It's an extension of the church where you go out and meet and understand God's word. Because many times I've read scriptures and I always wonder, like, what, what exactly does this mean? Yes, we have access to Internet. Um, we have access to all type of information at our fingertips. But at the same time, actually sitting down and discussing the word with somebody else, trying to understand to make sense of scripture helps you. All right. So remember, number one is the word of God. Word of God. Study the word. Get it in. Understand it. Meditate on it. And, and converse with it. Get around other people. Discuss the word. Second light is the peace of God. Is that inner calm, that inner knowing that God has your back? Uh to keep you calm, that inner peace. Let's go to a scripture. Colossians 3.15 says, And let the peace, soul harmony, which comes from Christ, rules as an umpire. An umpire. An umpire is the one that watch over everything to do with baseball. I'm not a big baseball fan, but I know for a fact that the umpire looks at everything. He's the one that's calling the shots. So let him be the umpire saying, ooh, that's not good. Yes, that's good, my son. Okay? All right. So continuing in the scripture, it says, in your heart, calling out plays. Let him be the umpire of your heart, calling out plays, deciding and settling with finality all questions that arise in your mind. So, you want that inner peace. Take it to him in prayer. Say, God, give me guidance. Show me the way. And if it, it's starting to align, you remember we have to put all these all these things in alignment. The first one is the word of God. The second one is the peace of God. 
when you have difficulty choices to make, just put the word of God and the peace of God, and it will make it become a little bit more clear. Think about moving a car. Have you ever tried to move a car and it's not started? The power steering fluid is not flowing. It's the same concept. It's the same concept. Just crank it up. Let the power steering fluid circulate. And once it starts to circulate and you put it in the drive, you have the ability to now steer without difficulty. All right, moving on to number three, his circumstances. Isaiah 42, 16 says, And I will bring the blind by a way that they know not. I'm blind, but now I can see. I have to seek God's word. I would lead them in a path that they know not. I will make darkness light before them and crooked things straight. Hmm. That last part, every time I read it, and crooked things straight. Sometimes my thought process are not in alignment with God's word, and I have to pray and ask God to help me with those situation. <clears throat> Circumstances should confirm God's guidance, but not be your only guide. That's why the devil can't open doors. The devil can't open doors. He can pretend to be giving you a prophetic word, but it's not a prophetic word. It's coming from the enemy. So you have to line all three of these things up. So recapping again is the word of God, mm -hmm. the peace of God, and circumstances. Look at your circumstances. Evaluate it to see if it's lining up with God's word or not. I'll give you a perfect example. Many, many, many moons ago, I was given a job opportunity and I asked God, I said, God, if it's your will be done. He took me out of a situation where I was working long hours. Um, I felt that I was not spending enough time with my family. He placed me into the situation that lasted less than a month. And I always wondered why, why? And then within a few months after that, I was placed into a job where I was able to spend more time with my family. Family comes first. When he goes back to putting into priority God's first, then your spouse, then your, your your children. It's nothing to do with a job. That's a that's a means, a source of income that he provides and bless you with. That's another um discussion. Not not for today. All right. Financial provision. Just like how we're talking about finances. Now let's talk about have you ever been in a situation you wonder where money's coming from? All right, so let's let's go to the scripture. It says, "So do don't worry about these things." Saying, "What would I eat? What will I drink? What would I wear?" These things dominate your thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly Father already knows your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else. Seek the kingdom of God above all else. Live righteously. Live righteously, and he will give you everything that you need. That is Matthew 6, 31 to 33. On the flip side, let's go to Proverbs 10. For I love Proverbs. I absolutely love Proverbs. A Proverbs a day keeps the devil away. Proverbs 10, 4 says, Lazy hands bring poverty, <clears throat> but hard working hands leads to wealth. Lazy hands bring poverty, but hard working hands lead to wealth. <clears throat> uh, directions from trusted biblical authorities, counsel from wise, Christ honoring friends, helps with circumstances. Directions from trusted biblical authorities, counsel from wise, Christ honoring friends. These help with circumstances. These things give you guidance. Read in the Word. So, recapping again the Word of God. The peace of God and circumstances. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to close with the scripture that we started out with, and it was Proverbs 3 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He shall, He will show you which path to take. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this. If you feel that somebody needs this, if they have lack of guidance, please direct them to Victory's website to listen to this message. Please direct them to this little video so they can start getting the insight. Plant the seed where there's a need. I thank you. I bless you. And give God all the glory and honor. Amen.